What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm really excited to open this one. A lot of you guys asked about it, and so I went out and got it this past weekend. In this video, we are gonna be unboxing this box. This is a Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers, I don't know what you would call it, gift box, collector's box. This is from GameStop. And this is made by Culturefly. Culturefly is killing it right now. They've got boxes at GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Um, so this is a specifically themed box, obviously, towards Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, old school Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin, not the new one. So I'm really excited about that. This is one of those gift boxes, the same ones that I've opened recently from Walmart, and I've opened some in the past from Target. Um, it's the ones where they tell you exactly what's in the box. There's a mystery figure item. I'm gonna guess that that is the White Ranger. Um, and yeah, I will say that one, I love Culture Fly. You guys know that. I love their boxes. I love their items. Everything's licensed and exclusive to this box, which I think is cool. The one thing I'll say about this box, though, is this one costs $40 at GameStop, which is quite expensive. I don't know if they upcharge it because they plan to put it on sale, but the boxes at Target and at um, at Walmart are usually anywhere from $20 to $30. So I had, a, I did a, like a really like deep swallow when he rang it up and said that this was $40. I was like, whoa, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that much. So hopefully this box gets its value. Culture Fly boxes usually do get their value. I just was a little bit surprised by the, um, the steep price point. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, um, I'll go ahead and link, they actually have a GameStop link, so I'll link it down below, and you can also use that link from the GameStop website to search your local stores to see if anyone has it in stock. So that's what I did. I went to a, I, I looked online, went to a GameStop that said they had it in stock. They unfortunately didn't have it out in the open. They had to go in the back and get it, not quite sure why. But anyways, yeah. So I tried my best not to stare at the uh, list of items that was gonna be in this box, because I wanna be surprised. I did see a slap bracelet, so. I won't be surprised by the slap bracelet, but before we open this box, I just unwrapped the plastic. Let's just take some time to admire how cool this box is. How cool this box is. How cool it is. For those of you who don't know, the Yellow Ranger is the best ranger. Specifically for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers training. You know. All right, here we go. Once you remove the plastic and you open up the box, this is what? You're gonna see. How does it look? How does it look? Oh, I was wrong. Did I say the Green Ranger or the White Ranger? I think I said the White Ranger. I meant the Green Ranger. Okay, let's check it out. I want to do the slap bracelets first because, okay, it's on. I'm not gonna search for it. The first item we have is a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger coaster set. Now, here's the thing. If you guys saw my Instagram story a long, long time ago, they had a legitimate uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers coaster set at GameStop. It was kind of expensive, but it was their morphers. But they were like really good coasters. Those ones were really cool. These ones represent all of the different, like, uh, well, the, the animals, the, the Zords, the Zord, the Zord symbols. So this is my favorite one, Sabertooth Tiger. Yeah, what is it, Mastodon? Ah, they're stuck. Oh no. Oh. T-Rex, Pterodactyl. And then, what is he at? Rhino? Is this the Mastodon? No. This is the Mastodon. This one's a, what, wait, what, what is this one? Triceratops. Triceratops? Triceratops, yeah. Pterodactyl, yeah, 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 yeah. So these are your normal coasters that have the cork backing. Nothing too special, although I'll be honest, I actually like the simplicity of these ones because uh, you remember those, um, do you guys remember the, the Jurassic Park coasters that I got? They ended up scratching my table because they were ceramic and on the bottom, like something happened. And so my dining room table has hella scratches all over it, which kind of sucks. Okay, next we have a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pint Glass. I love all of this packaging. It's so, it, I mean, it looks like something I could have put together, but it's so old school that I love it. Like, I love the old schoolness of it. Bro, do you even morph? 
this is cool. I'm kind of sad that it's just the Red Ranger. I mean, I think we could have, I wonder if there was different ones, but um, you have the, you have like a silhouette of the Red Ranger and then it says, bro, do you even morph? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I like this, it's probably hand wash only. Yes, but I'm definitely gonna try putting it in the dishwasher to see what happens. Cause who only hand washes their dishes? I know some people actually do that. I feel like I waste more, more water when I hand wash dishes than when I don't. Okay, next we have this really cool slap bracelet. Um, is there two in here? There is. Go, go Power Rangers. This one just says, go, go. So that was, that's kind of an interesting, like, thing. Um, and then you have, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Then you have this one, but they don't even put the Black Ranger on here. Isn't that funny? They just have the red, blue, pink, and yellow. What are they doing? What's up with that? What's up with that? What are we gonna do? These are pretty cool slap braces. Sometimes they've been making them pretty like thick and the thicker the slap brace is, if it's not furry, the harder it hurts or the more it hurts when you actually use it to slap onto your hand. I'm loving everything about this, this box though, like the packaging even, cause they even have like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo on the little package, which I think is cool. Okay, now, oh, yes. Yes, I love this. We got an alpha bottle opener. Oh yes, I, this thing is so heavy too. I love this. This is amazing. He has like the theme that's going on so far. We got a pint glass, we got coasters, and we have an alpha bottle opener. This is sweet. I love this. And none of this new alpha with the weird spaghetti, like, oh God. The new alpha that was in the Power Rangers movie, I rewatched that um, like last week, it was on TV. And I was just like looking at alpha like, what is that? No, this is alpha. That I like that product a lot. Okay, next we have, what is this? Junior Power Ranger official identification card. This looks like something I probably had when I was a child, to be honest. You can write your name on it and it's like an ID card. That's so funny. They probably, like I said, I don't remember fully, but I'm sure they had some kind of like Power Rangers uh, like fan club thing that you could sign up for and this is probably something that you could have gotten from that. All right, we have a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers lunchbox. This is, a, this one's a little bit, not cheap, but it's so simple. Like I feel like they could have done a little bit more to this to make it cool. And why is it, why is it only the Red Ranger? Like why are we getting, why is it in red? Why couldn't we do like black with a cool neon logo or something? Like what's really good guys? What's really good? But it's insulated. It's pretty small. So this would be more for like a kid. Cause like the amount of food I bring to work with me, it would, this would fit my, maybe my snack, maybe. Um, but this looks like it could fit like a sandwich, a snack, and a Capri Sun, potentially. Like a small sandwich. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty simple though. Like the design is pretty simple, nothing too fancy. Okay, next we have, is this just a print? Is this a sticker? I don't know what this is. I can't tell if this is a sticker or print, but we have the Power Rangers and they're circling Alpha's head that makes it look like a planet. So like their heads are the moon and then Alpha's head is the, the planet. So there's that. I don't know if that's, a, I can't tell if that's a sticker or a poster. Okay, ooh, we have a notebook and a pen set. Oh, this is so old school, let me take this out. Okay, so the notebook we have has a lenticular cover. Go, go Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. And inside it's just lined paper. And you've got the, uh, the like lightning bolt thing that's in their logo there's anything nothing on the inside but cool little notebook I just recently got a notebook it was this one that I was gonna use for my I got this other book that I'm reading about my life and we have to do like note things I think I might use this one because this one's a little bit more true to like me and then it also came with one of those old-school pens oh look there's the Black Ranger head the Black Ranger head made it onto this pen so that's good okay everyone made it on this one this is one of those pens where you it has different colors so like right now I have it on black, but you can pop it and make it 
wait, how do you pop it? Oh yeah, there you go. Make it purple. So now it's purple. And then if you're really talented, you can press. Oh, never mind. This one doesn't work. Okay, the hole's not big enough. Sometimes you could pull like multiple of these down and have like three different colors, but the, the pen hole's not big enough. So this is just one of those like old school changing colored pens. I probably won't use that because I have a, an issue with like writing with a really thick pen. Like this pen's really wide, but I like the notebook a lot. The last item in the box is our figure, and this is our Green Ranger figure. So this was the, the one mystery item where you didn't really know what it was. Let's go ahead, and you know what's interesting? I don't know if this is the case always, but um, Culturefly made all of these products, but they're also licensed by Hasbro. So Hasbro must be the, the main licensee of the Power Rangers, I guess. I don't think I knew that. I think I kind of knew that. Okay, ooh, I like this. I like that they, how do I get this out? They gave us a base too for the figure and it is the Green Rangers, I guess the Green Rangers logo. I don't know, honestly, 100% honest, I don't even know what that represents. What is that? I don't know, but here's our Green Ranger figure. I actually really like this. This is, I wouldn't say it's an action figure because you can't move him. He doesn't have like bendable parts, but the details, look at his butt. Like the details on this, they clearly, there's even like, there's even like ripples from the pants. You know, usually when you put your pants on and sometimes underneath your butt, there's some like, what do you call that? Like, it's just where the, 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 the material bunches up a little bit. So he's actually got really, really good details on this. I will be honest and say that this actually might be one of my favorite figures from a culture fly box because usually, I mean, they're not bad usually. They're just not usually this detailed. Sometimes they're a little bit, not cheaper, but I don't know because the ones I'm really remembering are the Nick box ones and those ones are kind of funky sometimes. But this is like a legitimate, um, an, a legitimate figure that I like. Oh, cool. I like that. I would love this if it was the... Um, Yellow Ranger. I would also love it if he actually had his, um, doesn't he, the, the thing that he does, the little like, almost it looks like, uh, what is that one instrument called? A flute. You know, he doesn't usually call on his like, on his like dagger, his dagger flute, but this one doesn't actually have him holding it. He's just holding nothing. Maybe he could do that without actually having anything. I swear his little dagger thing was like, I don't know. I'm having trouble remembering. Anyways, this is a very cool figure. Okay, this is all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap and see if we, oh, I take it back. I'm so sorry. His little dagger flute is right there so I can take it out and put it in his hands so that he doesn't just look like he's doing this. All right, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap and see um, if we hit our value. I will say that I'm, I'm wondering it's a little bit questionable at this exact moment. Let me read this little paper. Art print, so this is an art print. Okay, so the first time we have is our art print. I'm gonna give this art print, I'm gonna give this art print 250. It's kind of small, the paper's a little bit not as tough as, sometimes we get things on like cardstock, we didn't get that on cardstock, so I'm gonna give that 250. This notebook is cool, it's on the cheaper end, I would say that you could give this $5. The pen, I would give $3. This lunchbox, I think you could give this four, four to $5. I think $5 seems a little bit much because it's not it's not like the highest quality thing. I'm gonna do $4, keep it on the lower end. We have our official, our official uh, identification card. I'm gonna give that $2, that's super novelty. The two slap bracelets, I'll go ahead and give uh, I'm gonna give that $2. You can get fancier slap bracelets at like Target for $2 each, but these ones are pretty simple. And they're missing the Black Ranger. I don't really understand how that works. Um, we have our coaster set. I'm gonna go ahead and give this, you know what, I'm gonna give it $5, uh, $1 for each one. This is my probably my favorite item in the box, the Alpha bottle opener. I think you could give this anywhere. It also came in like legitimate packaging. I think you could give this anywhere from six to 
$8, I would be down to give that seven. It's very, very heavy duty and thick. Pint glass, usually I give pint glasses around $5 because this is individually boxed. I'm gonna go ahead and give it $6, pretty simple. And then this figure, um, it's licensed and exclusive and it's actually pretty nice. So I, I'm okay giving this $10. That might be a little bit high, but I'm gonna give it a, a, like a teeny bit more because of the exclusivity, exclusivity, exclusivity. Whatever, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $46.50. I'm a little bit surprised um, about that. I would say that maybe I priced the figure a little bit high, but even if you took off a couple dollars, you're still getting your money back for the $40. I think I did pretty good at pricing everything else out. I, I kind of stayed on the lower end, just that you kind of can understand are you getting your money's worth? So I would say yes. And if you are a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan, this is an awesome box. It's still a little bit pricey. $40 is kind of expensive for these kind of gift boxes, but again, you did get your value back. So I'm okay with it. I'm a huge Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan, so I'm totally fine with it. Uh, maybe if GameStop has some sales or something, you can get a little bit cheaper if you wait a little bit. But anyways, for those of you who are like me and love the classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Look into this box. It's actually a pretty cool box. Uh, again, my favorite items, Alpha bottle opener. I like the coasters. I actually really like this figure, and I like the notebook. Um, I wish that the design on this was a little bit cooler, and I wish there was a handle on the top because I would totally use this for my lunches for work. Okay, guys. That is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, what did you guys think about this box? What were your favorite items? Do you think that it's worth the $40 price point? That's a little bit steep compared to the other Culture Fly boxes. I'm not quite sure why this one is so much more expensive. It did come with maybe a few more items than it usually does, so maybe that's why. But let me know what your thoughts are down below and what your favorite item was. I'm interested to hear. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it on to my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout is going to go to the Dobros. The Dobros, you get the video shout. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support, and I love your donut icon. So because of that, and because you asked, you are getting the video shout out. Shout out to you, Dobros. Shout out to you. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.